Hey y'all, how's it going? My name is Voop Bridges Song and I'm coming to you with a video. Um, I think I'm keeping true to the whole bi-weekly thing. I'm not entirely sure this is bi-weekly. I'm just shooting it before uh, I, go, I go to therapy. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. There's not gonna be any transition, so I don't know why I always say without further ado, but so now I've been about two, three weeks since I've become more serious about like fitness. I do feel better. Um, it's been nice to have a, a schedule to wake up to and have something to look forward to. Although sometimes it is difficult to wake up at like 6 a.m. to get to the gym by seven, like after all like my morning routine and stuff, but it's nice, I enjoy it. Um, it feels like I have, I don't know, like some type of like motivation, I guess, cause I'm keeping myself on a schedule and on track. And then um, aside from that, I also started a skincare routine. Like my skin's kind of shiny right now. I don't know the difference between it being just oily and shiny and like skincare routine shiny. So I get thrown off and stuff. And then my girl's just like, no, like you look good. Like the skin's supposed to be looking like that. So I'm like, all right. So I'll break down the video more. I'm just going to show off um, pickups, jewelry, and then pickups, clothes, and then just share my skincare routine at the end. So in case you don't want to watch it, just you can end there. That's, uh, I think that's fair, yeah. So first off with um, jewelry, I finally got in the Chrome Heart stuff that I said I was going to get in. Last video, I got the cemetery ring in and I obviously had the necklace. But my, um, sorry about that. Um, my dude, um, pre like not pre-ordered, but like, he got it from his guy and then um he how do i say it so he he had the order from the guy and then he was just waiting for him to, for her to come to him so i was able to get it so this one is a oh it's not focusing all right so this is a heart floral as you can see here on the side there's the floral and it has the chrome hearts heart design right off the right off the front so it looks like really cool it's like a nice little like in a sense a signet ring no it's not it's just it's just a nice little bulky ring i i'm trying to enjoy this like a uh, normal band on the chrome heart stuff now because it makes life so much easier i stack it with my uh promise ring with my girlfriend and then yeah so it just stacks really nicely gold the gold uh, gives it a nice hint at the top and also it makes this finger not look as a, like the ring as small, I guess, because normally I'll wear the rings like this or something. And it's just like, oh, you, I have like one super thin, tiny band and I have like a giant, uh, like just a giant ring on the side. So this is, this is how my normal setup looks. I'm trying to be a little more plain with it. So if I go plain, I just wear this but i've just been wearing i just wanted to wear all my rings so this is how i wear it my friend uh cold as ice <laughs> he's like uh bro low key it's kind of douchey to wear all your rings i was like i mean it is but i don't know it just kind of fits my look so i do enjoy it um and the next pickups, I did order more, uh, I do have, I, I, I don't know why, like, I'm, I'm always like, how am I going to keep these things bi-weekly? But it always ends up with me kind of, like, getting random stuff. Um, like, here are some, uh, shoelace aglets. Um, they look, uh, kind of like little poops. Um, I had no idea where to put these because, uh, as you can see, there's only one set of shoelace aglets. But I'm thinking of putting this on one of my vet hoodies. 
because one of them has the normal shoelace ending tips and I might just slide it in and put this on there if it fits. If not, they're just gonna like stand up looking like uh, small little chess pieces on my table, I guess. I'll just put it somewhere else, I don't know. It's kind of weird to just have one, but it was a it was free gift because um my friend, well not my, well, yeah, he's my friend at this point. So my friend, who is also the Chrome Heart plug for me, it was just like, oh bro, you've been buying so much, so you just have this. And I was like, oh, perfect. I always take free stuff, bro. And next, let's just uh, get into clothes, I guess. Um, as I said previously, I ordered Birkenstock stuff. Let me show off the Birks. So first off, I have just a normal pair of uh, Arizonas, I think. Is that what they're called? But these are cool because the it's like a copper on the metal piece. Yeah, looks pretty good. Um, I got them. I, I completely forgot that uh, Burke sizing. You want to like half size down or like maybe a full size down because obviously they're sandals. But, you know. Oh, so I was, I forgot, like, I was gonna say, like, in the video, I was gonna show off this, like, new, like, supplement thing I'm trying, because my friend said it's good for your, like, collagen and your joints and stuff, and I was like, oh, perfect, I'll do a live taste test here. I put it in, in hot tea, because my friend said, oh, I get unflavored, and I put it in my coffee. I'm like, oh, okay, that that sounds fair. Like, that probably wouldn't be too weird. So I was like, oh, you know what? Let me get the tea and put peach mango in it. But I'm pretty sure my racials are fucked up because that tasted kind of bland right now. It's kind of strange. It's got a clump of it right now. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> it was honestly a mistake on my end. Probably shouldn't be putting flavored supplement into hot tea because one, I've never tried it. Two, I've never tried it, so I should probably put it in water. This is also my first time taking supplement stuff, so I'm like completely new to it. And yeah. So next one. You already know, like, I don't know. I got <laughs> the Rick Burks. Um, these aren't the furry ones, sadly, but I do like these. They're the clogs with the extendo uh, strap right here. They're, um, not gonna lie, the shape of the shoe kind of ugly. Like, it's kind of dog shit. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, like, um, but... They're comfy, so I really enjoy them. I don't know. At that point, I'm just buying it because it's Rick. Like, honestly, the the normal Boston with suede looks um looks better to me, truthfully. But it's all good. Sorry, I'm like, that was real awkward. Like, but it's all good. Um, let's see. Let me get into some of the climbing shoes for this is in this bag right here. So um I got a pair of Mad Rock climbing shoes. So they're the laced ones. These are the first time I've gotten these. I'm also not entirely sure they fit me because my friend that also recommended the supplement, um, his name's Brandon, cool dude. Um he's also one of the main dudes helping me in my like fitness journey. So yeah, he um he gave me these because he said it didn't fit. He was originally gonna give it to one of our other mutual friends, his name was Chris, but at that day I already gave Chris a pair of my shoes. So he was just like, oh, you want these then? I'm like, bro, I always take free shit. So I took it and I don't even know they fit, but they look nice. So there's always that. Um, The other stuff is on the ground right here. Um, I know it's 
kind of it's kind of ratchet to do that, but I apologize. Actually, I don't need to show these off. These aren't really that important. They're just some brown uni glow pants. Um, they're the Relax Fit pair. Um, they're just they kind of fit like I guess five oh ones. And yeah. Oh fucking a. All right. So one of the most meme pickups that I've gotten in a while. Probably some orange tab 505s. Yes, that says 34, 34. I'm not long enough for the 34, but I am fat enough for the 34. So, ah, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm filming this video in my boxers, so I do apologize. Let me, uh, let me get these pants on for y'all. See, just, just to show y'all the fit a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Ah, how y'all been? Let me know down in the comments if y'all even get it here. All right, y'all gonna get free access to the feet, but don't mess with the boy. All right, so what y'all think? I think they fit pretty well. This shirt's a new cop too. It's just more of the Uniqlo errors and stuff. I fuck with it a lot. Yeah. So they're kind of, well, they're obviously straight leg because they weren't really doing like skinny, super skinny pants back then, I guess. But yeah, the quality is really good on the orange tabs. Um, from what my dude, Tommy Pointer said, he said um, with um, orange tabs, well, I mean, I mean, I asked two people. I asked, uh, I asked Tommy and uh, my friend Andrew, he was like, um, He's like, oh, just uh, you go one size down. I mean, one size up for orange tabs or vintage Levi's. And for Carhartt, you go two sizes up or something like that. So I was like, and um, you're like, who the fuck are Tommy and Andrew? So Andrew's, uh, I think he's, I don't remember his meme page. He's like anarcho-capitalism or something like that. And then Tommy's obviously Dick Owens. He has his own YouTube channel. You've probably seen it before mine. So, good boys out there. Um, let me go get my other pickup. So, we obviously know my purple greedies. I bought fucked. This this is normal um nine eight eight things like the back pops because of the dyeing process. So you can't really um. I mean, you can't fault them for um, not just dyeing the zipper and then putting it on afterwards. But then again, I don't know how the whole process works. So this is an outsider's perspective. But I bought the greedy specific zippers. And lo and behold, like they're dyed. You can see the whole box is just like one color. Like it's super fucked. But yeah, here are the zippers. I was like, these look kind of short, but then after putting it up next to the boot, it's like perfectly fine. And I'm kind of afraid of touching the actual zipper because the dye is quite, um, it was bleeding onto my hand, like even after I got it. But yeah, here are the zippers. As you can see, Guidi on the zip. But yeah, I'm planning on fixing those up at some point. Um, I was low key trying to sell it before I had to even fix it but now that I have the zippers I'm still trying to do that I don't know why I could just go fix it and then wear it and then, sorry I burped again and I can just put the whole like an insole in there again I could fit them and wear them perfectly but I don't know I'm just getting too lazy to go out. I think it's just because of my work week I get like out at six so most of the stuff is closed and the closest one with really good reviews is like in Pasadena and I'm like ah uh, Fuck, that's like 30 minutes out from where I live, so. Yeah, let me go get the other stuff. Alright, I'll be, uh, I'll be completely transparent with you guys. I was not 
gang and stuff. They're all right here. I just want to go wash my hands because I uh, touched the boots. I'm not quite fond of touching uh, touching uh, shoes and stuff. But yeah, so let me, I'm pretty sure you saw, but these are the hats I picked up. Um, Haunted Starbucks hat. This is um, anime boobies. Let me censor that. But yeah. The Chrome Heart knockoff. I got this before I got into Chrome Hearts. And I was like, ah, I'd never buy a Chrome Hearts hat for myself. I bought one. And then now I'm like, ah, let me try to cancel this order. Well, not cancel, but like it was just taking too long. So I was like, ah, let me see if I can get my refund. I don't know if this dude's trying to scam or not, but I was like, okay. But he came, so I'm like, ah, perfect. My Chrome Heart hat just sold. So I'm like, whatever. And then here's the Fear of God hat. Um, what else can I say? This is a Fear of God fitted. I look like a absolutely stupid when I wear this, but I like the hat. I don't know. I wanted it. Like um, whenever I saw people post up in it, and I've been wanting to get back into fitteds because it's fucking trendy, bro. Like. What else do I gotta say? Like, it's just trendy, so I wanted to, like, try it out again, but I couldn't get any of the cool ones, so fuck. I just got the Fear of God when it's cool enough, right? Anyways, um, the min <laughs> the video's, like, fucking 16 minutes, and I don't know how to edit, fuck. All right, so this is a supplement I'm trying, Fizz Advantage Collagen. I mean, this is good for joints in general. Um, at least that's what my bro said. Uh, I'm gonna try that shit out. Let me just speed this shit up near the end. I just got some sunglasses from Jin also. Y'all mind if I be a, a little douche and uh, wear my sunglasses inside my own room? I hope y'all don't mind. <laughs> yeah, I like them though. They're, uh, they're the only sunglasses that actually fit my head. I got a big ass dome, so I'm like... All right, perfect. And they're readily available, so I didn't have to, like, go through some process of fucking ordering it. And, like, I've been driving around without sunglasses for so long. I'm, like, I'm pretty sure my eyes are fucked from that, but might as well correct it while, while we're still ahead. And I don't have to go do eye surgery and stuff. And my nails look fucked. I haven't been wanting to bother my aunt to help me do it. And also, like, like I said, I get off at work at 6, so I'm too lazy to go out at that time. Um, let's see. All right, funny fucking, uh, okay, so we all know this Vetmon hat. This is my favorite hat in my collection. So I listed it up at a meme price on Grailed. If you've seen this hat on Grailed for fucking 650, I posted that shit. I didn't think anyone would fucking want this shit, but all of a sudden there's like fucking 80 likes on that. It's like been like maybe 20 days since I posted it. And then, some dude offered me five fifty, and I was like, oh, fuck, I don't want to sell it. I, I want this hat so much, I'm not going to do that, right? And afterwards, some people were, like, convincing me, like, bro, just fucking sell it and try to find one again. And I'm like, oh, fuck, you're right. But I already edited the listing at that point, and then I couldn't sell it. Because, obviously, I edited the listing, so the binding offer was fucking gone. I'm like, ah. Oh. And, obviously, I talked myself back into my senses, because I did want to keep this hat. So, I'm like... I'm just like, I don't know. I fuck with it though. Like, it's a really shallow cap. So, you can't really wear it if you have a big head and long hair. But, right now my hair is short because I obviously cut it. But, you know, my hair looking kind of, kind of nice right now. Though. It's kind of caramelly, kind of mocha-like. Yeah, all right. I'm just uh, like uh, talking about nothing at this point, so. Let me just get into my skincare routine, my my dudes. I know this is what everyone comes to fashion videos for. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to just be that guy that's like, oh yeah, I'm starting a skincare routine, and I don't even like say anything about it or like. There's like no info. It's just like you're like, oh, so what are you using? Just keeping it a secret. All right, so I went to Sephora with my girlfriend, and I just got a bunch of stuff. So please bear with me. So this is the first thing I got. It says Clean B. I have no idea what 
I, I don't even know what the product I got is. I just got whatever they recommended me. So if I don't know the names of them, I apologize. So Pharmacy Clean B. They sell at Sephora. Looks like this. Um, the lady said half a pump is good enough to just clean the whole face and everything. So that's what I've been doing. Um, the first mistake I did was uh, I didn't... <laughs> it's It's such a dumb mistake but I was putting it on my face like this without frothing it up to get like I guess get the thing working or whatever right but yeah so this is a uh, twice a day once in the morning once in the night and the next one I have is this exfoliate by polish choice um it says once or twice a day so if they say once or twice a day the skin stuff i'm only gonna do it once because it just seems a little sus if you have to say that this is the this is the toner um i don't know if i said that or not but yeah so i use this once at night after washing my face you have to do it when your face is dry so after you wash it pat it down and this one right here says exfoliate peel so this is just for acne scars so obviously i do have acne scars i'm not like gonna deny that I have it or anything like it's just there it's a it's a thing that's not a COVID cough guys I just have like a just had like a thing on my throat I don't know that sounds so this is it's not convincing at all but yeah so this is a it's just to help um you only use it once a week and at night only because you can't really go into the sun after you like peel your skin layer I guess that's what it does so I just put it where the acne scars are and um yeah, that's about it. And then this is my moisturizer. This is also twice a day. Um, this is what what's it called? Fresh Lotus Preserve Moisturizer. Oh my god, this thing. This thing smells amazing. And um it's quite pricey for moisturizer, I think. But then again, I'm like very new into this, but 50 bucks for this is quite a bit. But the packaging is obviously really nice. Like this is glass, I'm pretty sure just feels like like they put some care into it all overall and it just feels really good on my skin i'll probably try out some um target stuff because my cousin did say target brand it, like it, it works because he said he's tried the sephora and all that shit and all that the korean shit also so there's that actually let me put this over here my tea is like right here and it's kind of warm and the last thing would uh be spf this is uh obviously just sunscreen uh enus free i just put it on my face that's about it this bottle is way too small to be putting on my body so i'm using like general if i do put it on my body but i'll be real i don't i don't put sunscreen on my body i barely put it on my face that's why I like and i barely got this in so there's that and i think that is it like i said in two weeks i'll probably have another video you can already expect it like i said i'm buying capital um possibly i'll have the the money to get the chrome hearts thing that i'm planning on getting but that's a little bit unlikely because i was close to it but i bought the capital thing so it might take a while unless one of my big items sell it's not gonna happen so thank y'all for watching if y'all reach to the end god bless you and have a great one